Good evening. Thank you for taking the time to join us virtually from the comfort of your home to show your support for Catholic Family Services of Durham and the work that we do in the community. Our team of highly skilled therapists make a difference in this world one client, one session at a time. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank my staff for their dedication and professionalism during the past year. They too have been on the front lines. We did not stop providing therapy when the pandemic hit. We just pivoted fast. There was no time for change management, no time for planning in advance. We just did it and worked out the kinks as we went. That type of nimbleness is not possible unless you have a deeply committed staff, passionate about the work they do. Thankfully, that is exactly the type of staff that work at Catholic Family Services. It also can't happen unless there is a supportive, active board governing to ensure the agency and staff have what they need to do their jobs to the best of their ability. This past year has shown just how blessed we are as an agency to have this group of individuals at the helm. Last year, roughly 2,000 people in our community came to our agency to access our clinical counselling services. Over half of those clients were adult and child victims of domestic violence, and the other half were people needing family, couple, and individual therapy in response to a wide variety of presenting problems such as trauma, abuse, and mild to moderate mental health issues like anxiety and depression. You can see on the wall behind me the words hope, help, and healing. Those three words capture what we believe every person who walks through our door deserves and will experience when they receive therapy from us. It is a remarkable privilege to be allowed to walk with someone through their healing journey, to see the resiliency of the human spirit, the strength and perseverance of people in the face of some of the most horrific things you could ever imagine. It's been even more remarkable to see that resiliency show up in new ways during these unprecedented times. Things like abuse victims hiding in closets to speak to us so they can get the support they need to access services and be safe. It's no secret, this pandemic has been hard on people's mental health. That news is everywhere. And we see the reality of that every day here at the agency. Our wait list has grown significantly. It's now a year-long wait for people to get the therapy they need. To give you a sense of what that means, Children who've been victimized by adults for their own pleasure have to wait a year to get trauma therapy. Children and youth struggling with anxiety and depression, unable to cope right now, have to wait a year to get the coping tools they need. Adults coping with the impact of trauma have to wait a year to resolve those issues. This increased demand from the pandemic is heightened by the fact that a few towns and cities in Durham Region are currently the fastest growing in our country. We just can't keep up. No one in Durham Region can. We're also seeing clients consistently rate the severity of their problem when they start therapy with us as more severe over the course of the year than they did in years previous. The good news is they rate the reduction of the severity of their problems over the course of therapy the same as in previous years, meaning in their, they're coming in feeling as though things are worse, but they're leaving feeling as helped as they've always felt. I will share a few of these stories with you later on in our evening. Hope, help, and healing. That's what you are supporting by being here tonight. I'm not sure how to adequately convey to you how significantly your support impacts people's lives. So I'll just say thank you for being here tonight and for supporting the work that we do with our clients so that they can be offered hope, so they can be helped, and so they can heal. There are roughly 2,000 people in Durham Region who are grateful for your support. Thank you, and I really hope you enjoy your evening.